Hi everyone, Dave here at East Rosebud Fly and Tackle in Billings, Montana. Welcome this chilly winter morning. I'm going to tie a fly with a product we've had here for a few months called Jerry's Fly Foam. There's a local uh, gentleman here that makes these. It's basically your standard two millimeter foam and they come in sizes 8, 10, and 12. In each package you get 25 or 24 pieces of these for $9.95. Stamping, if you've ever been stamping your own foam, you know it's a pain in the fanny. It takes some time, it's hard on your hands. Plus, if you've never glued multiple layers of foam together, it's a messy job. So this is a way to avoid all that pain and trouble if you want to tie your own flies. And plus, having these two different layers, or three different layers, you've got a choice of which side you want down, which side you want up. So it's certainly a viable product, something to think about. I'm going to be tying a version of the pink pookie using this uh, tan and pink so foam. It's like tying the pink pookie. I'm going to impale the foam one hook gap width shy in the middle of the foam. Go ahead and pierce it all the way through, like so. I'm going to go ahead and tie this with the pink on the bottom. That out of the way for right now. Go ahead and make a thread base. I'm using UTC 140. Anytime you're using foam, you do not want to use a round thread like Uni Thread or Vivas. It will cut through the foam when you put pressure on it. So the flattening nature of the UTC thread will allow you to do that. Put a couple layers on before you tighten it, and then it won't cut through the foam. Bring this over, like so. Now I'll go ahead and put the tan side down. And right where you pierced it, which is at the end of the hook gap, bring your foam up to that spot. Make a couple of thread wraps, then tighten. Those two thread wraps act as a cushion so that you don't cut the foam. Come forward on the hook only to about the point of the hook. We're just making segments right now. Another couple of wraps, pinch it, slowly pull it down, and then one more here. Instead of making my last segment here, I'm going to go ahead and tie in the wing and the legs, the indicator, and then I'll finish that up. So for the wing, elk hair, bull elk hair is commonly used, but you can use whatever you have. Clean it and stack it. Of course, this represents the wings of the grasshopper, so I like it a little longer than the body, so that it will show here. And I like to go ahead and cut it before I tie it in. Cut it right off the tips of your fingers. A couple of wraps to secure it. This way I don't have anything I have to trim. All these trim pieces of hair like to stick to the foam, and it can be a real aggravation. Just a little bit of zappa gap here. And for the legs, I'm just going to use a combination of front and back legs. I've taken a couple pieces of this barred sexy floss, just tied an overhand knot in it. You generally want the hinge part of the rear leg to be right at the end of the body, about there. We'll trim that up in a minute. This will be our front legs. All these thread wraps go directly over this wrap. Let me get a second piece on my side. Same thing, kind of lo line up the, uh, the knuckle of that leg. 
two wraps. Now I'm going to fold everything back out of the way and bring my thread forward to about one eye length behind the eye. And then secure the foam. Come around with two wraps. One more wraps to secure it. Then I'm going to bring the front legs that I've made alongside. Same on my side. Just make sure you keep them right on the sides of the body. A little bit of indicator foam. You can use a lot of different things. This is just a strip of two millimeter orange foam, but you can use any kind of bright material you want, polypropylene, whatever you like. Wraps there, trim that. And I'm going to whip finish on the top of that. Or zap a gap on the bottom where all of our thread wraps came together. And you can trim this head to whatever shape you like. You can round it, make it a sharper angle. There you go. Just as easy as a pink pookie and just as fast, except you don't have to stamp out pieces beforehand. So think about Jerry's fly foam. We have it in stock, say, in, all, uh, in both the two layer and the three layer and all eight color combos. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you next time.